So we're here for Dawn Patrol and they've got this handy dandy little app that tells you everything about all the events that are happening. So it says Dawn Patrol began in 1978 when two balloonists develop position lighting systems that allow them to fly at night. They take off in the dark and fly until it is light enough to see landing sites. Wow, that was amazing. We went out on the field in the middle of all the action, watched all the balloons take off. I mean, there's still more taking off. It's yeah. going on for hours. Today we are leaving the balloon, balloon fiesta. Balloon fiesta. The balloon fiesta. And we wanted to give you guys a few tips so if you come to this event, you can have a great time. What is up y'all? Jesse and Lincoln here with Adventure Endeavor. Melissa's in the background. So today is the day. Uh, we are actually heading to Balloon Fiesta. We're currently uh, still at the boondocking location where we had our cleanup and we are gonna be heading to Albuquerque, which is about an hour south. We're gonna top off our water. We were going with our RV Club Escapers. If you haven't heard of Escapers, We'll link it in the description below. You can check it out. It's a really cool way to meet more like-minded people. Ow, getting bit by something. There's a lot of flies here. And uh -huh. we gotta get going. They're packed like sardines! So, well, we made it. We made it. Melissa did a great job backing in. It only it's, took me about seven times to Yeah, try. but it's awkward because like, I don't know. It's just weird when there's stuff around and it was pretty wide open, but you, you need practice. So it was good. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I drive often. I don't park or back into spots often. Yes. So anyway, good practice. A lot of learning lately. And also we're packed in here like sardines. Look at this. It is tighter than any RV park I've ever been in. But it's all good because we're, we're here for the balloons. The balloons are the deal. Which are gonna be directly behind us, I believe. Yes, and what's kind of cool is we could probably put chairs right here in this field <laughs> and watch them because like we have this huge open field right here that's right behind our rig. I think we might actually just run our Starlink out here and set it up. No obstructions, obviously, so that'll be easy. But we're gonna go get registered with Xcapers and say hi to some friends. Um, Lincoln is gonna go in his stroller. And um, anything else to add about getting here? It was really easy. It was, it was really, really easy. easy. Like they, they put a lot of instructions into the email so that it's pretty much foolproof. Um, and it totally helped. So yeah, it was really nice. Let's and go. And we're gonna go cruise around now. Michelle are the house band, the entertainment extraordinaire that are going to be entertaining both Sundays. Um, we want to welcome you here to the Albuquerque Hot Air Balloon Fiesta. Uh, who here has been here before? Then you already know what to expect and you understand the parking situation. Who here is like, what is this parking situation? You can raise your hand. Yes, this is what it is like to park at the Albuquerque Hot Air Balloon Fiesta. Great, we're at I'm the talking head and you just... The envelope is the fabric part. 
squishy part, the top of the balloon, everything above the basket basically, or above the burners really. And then you have the basket and the components of the basket. We'll get into that a little bit more. But as I talk, um, I'll try to be real clear if I'm talking about the balloon, the entire system, or a component of the balloon. All right, well, good morning, y'all. First day of Balloon Fiesta, currently 5 a.m. We are heading over. Uh, you can take a shuttle or you can walk. Um, from where we're here camping, it's roughly a one mile walk, which is, you know, Google says 20 minutes. I believe we are walking over with some friends. Don't be afraid to get down on the field and walk through the balloons as they're inflating. It is such a cool experience and you are more than welcome to go down there and see it up close. After Mass Ascension, we decided to walk Vendor's Row real quick and then wanted to get back to our camper because we noticed most of the balloons were heading that way. Okay, so we made it out at 5.45 in the morning to session one, day one of Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. And wow, that was amazing. We went out on the field in the middle of all the action, watched all the balloons take off. I mean, there's still more taking off. It's yeah. going on for hours. Uh, uh, one super of the, cool to watch. One of the balloon teams brought us right in there, so we were able to see a lot more. I would have to say, day one, I did not realize Lincoln would be so interested in the balloons. It was so much fun just watching him being engaged, and you could tell he was really focusing on the balloons, and obviously the uh, what do they call it? The torches, basically, when the fire goes. Yeah. It, it's super cool. I can't even explain. It's hard to explain. Yeah. Um, like how you feel when you're standing in the middle of the field and they're going. Up. You just feel like it's happy just... and joyful <laughs> and it's exciting, but yet it's very calm and slow. It's like interesting. Yeah, it's definitely like awe-inspiring. Um, it was really cool to watch how they blow it up just with air, with like a giant fan, and then they like. They do the propane to actually like make it lift. And Is it actually propane? Isn't it propane? I think so. That's I don't what know. the guy said in the presentation yesterday. Cannot confirm. The propane tank? No, confirmed. It's confirmed. propane. It's propane. So now we're gonna do our short what else walk. Would it be? <laughs> we're gonna do a short walk back to our camp now. Probably cook some breakfast, and it looks like the wind is maybe shifting to where balloons may go over our camp. Not a hundred percent sure, but uh, apparently. They land all the time, like right where we're camped, so. That'll be nice to see. Hopefully we can get some action over by camp. Back at camp, we got Lincoln napping, and then we got bacon cooking. And we got balloons. Look at this one, it's coming right here. So apparently this field, there's a ton of balloons that actually land in this field. Which is awesome because we literally back right up to it. So how cool is this, babe? We got a penguin coming in hot. That's pretty cool. Penguin coming in penguin. hot. We got breakfast sausage. That's what I'm saying. It's going in, man. That penguin is coming in hot.
coming in hot. the next day. All right, y'all, so going to the field is awesome. We've gone to the field multiple days now, but it's also awesome to literally come out of your trailer like this and go like this and just see all these balloons. We back up to this field and they land here all day long. Well, not all day long, the morning, when the, obviously. When the wind pattern is right, they land, a lot of them land in this box right here. Yeah, I didn't think they were gonna even launch today because it rained a lot, it was super cloudy, but apparently it's a go. Another reason to come and camp at this event would be so you can experience this. It's completely different than going to the field. Absolutely, this is the South RV lot too, and so when the wind is right, they come right over here. Yes. It's really cool. And it's hard to tell, but we're here with friends, so out in this field, there's a ton of our escaper friends, and that's another thing that's so great about coming with a club is you can experience it with friends rather than just her, you know. Wow, I'm just chopped liver. Chopped liver. Well, especially with Cub, you're chopped liver. <laughs> but uh, also last night we went to a local brewery, and they do music nights here, mm -hmm. and all sorts of stuff. So if you're RVing, especially full time, and you're lonely, there's no reason for that. <laughs> Find friends, join make friends, join a group. Yes. All that stuff. Here, babe, I'll take her. I'll take that. <laughs> Is he in there to like weigh it down? I don't know. How? I don't know. I just went in. I have no idea. He was told to go in, so he went in. Well, they it down. Hey, you're hot in here. Let me see. <laughs> hey! That's cool. It's very orange. It's quite orange in there, yeah. So we're walking over here for Mass Ascension Thursday morning of Balloon Fiesta. Shapes Day. Shapes Day, woohoo! So this is one of the main reasons that we decided to extend our stay here. And we're so glad we did because it was looking a little touch and go for a while. Uh, the weather has been kind of rainy and stormy and so you never know whether the balloons are going to fly until like an hour before they go up and sometimes not even then. As someone that we know on the field attending like the pilots meeting and like reporting back in our group message thread whether Don Patrol is going, whether the balloons are flying or not, color of the flag, all yeah. of that. So green flag means they're going, yellow flag means maybe, not yet. 
a red flag means absolutely no flying. But it was nice because we were like <laughs> debating and like looking at the weather app, like should we get up and walk over there before work? Cause we got to work today. Yeah. He told us that basically Dawn Patrol went up, they took off, so that's like a really good sign. We decided to huff it over here and hopefully see shapes on the field. Mm -hmm. Like another great reason to go with a club or go with friends. And today it's so funny because it's Thursday, potentially rainy, so people are working in general in Albuquerque, but also like RVers are working. So yeah. there's no one on this walk that we do to get to the field. Yeah, there's, there's like these one, no this one. one group of people behind us, but like, normally there's a ton of people on this like little walkway. So special shapes day is truly special. So when you're here the first time, you're just so excited because you're amongst all the balloons that are blowing up and you're just like, wow, this is crazy. But now it feels kind of like a whole new event and you're just, oh, look at that one, look at that one. Cause they're all so unique, like this giant frog butt that's behind us and this VW bus and what are the bees called? Here, right? I don't know. They're just they're the famous bees. I don't know what they're called, but they like they inflate simultaneously and then they apparently turn and kiss each other. So, so sort, all sorts of different fun stuff. Highly recommend trying to come to special day, special shapes day. I'm so glad that we were able to come today because the weather was looking crummy. Yeah, it's been really touch and go for the last few days, but fortunately it's calm enough that they could launch and we're getting a great experience. I almost forgot to show you guys our spot, but take a look at the bottom of my boots and then we'll go from there. It's quite muddy here unfortunately but beggars can't be choosers i'll try to get out here to show you guys look at our setup we couldn't even get completely level because we couldn't pull up on blocks because they were just slipping and sliding from the mud we're all dug in but but on the other hand we're happy that we got a spot because we got to see the shapes today which we would have already been gone if we hadn't got the spot. So I would highly recommend you try to plan the full week. We weren't able to, but then we recovered. Um, and unfortunately these spots are $40 a night. No amenities for boondocking in the mud. So our last spot was much better because we were on like an asphalt type surface. It was way better. And we're supposed to get more rain today. For our final night at Fiesta, we decided to head to the field to attempt to watch the balloon glow, one of the most famous and popular events. This is when the balloons stand upright for a static display on the field and light up their burners to illuminate the inside of the balloons. It's a magical event for obvious reasons, but the weather had other plans when a microburst storm rolled in. Any thoughts, dear, on the glow night? This is our first and our only glow because today is Friday. I am so glad we decided to come down for this. This is seriously one of the coolest things. Like, it's amazing to be out here on the field when they're inflating them all in the morning during mass ascension, but wow, this is freaking cool. It's a different vibe. Totally and it's different. interesting too because they're not taking off. Yeah, they're just hanging out. They're just the doing a light show. glow -dio. What it what? It's a glodio. Oh, a glodio. A glodio. So it started pouring rain. 
Yeah, the rain escalated quite quickly. I was telling you guys earlier, we felt a couple drops. We're like, oh, we're gonna wait it out. We would have been completely drenched. Yeah. Luckily, Cubby's got his little cover. He was good. But it is not waterproof. Uh, we brought, we brought rain gear. He would be in trouble. We should have trash bag. We have an umbrella. Oh, we do have an umbrella. An umbrella, dear. We do. Why right, thinks true. ahead. Sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, we got out here with about 20 minutes worth of time to hang out and relax, and then we had to boogie. Folks now we're talking. Everybody's. Folks, if you're in the table, you can scoot those tables closer to allow more people. Everybody's squished in this building it's trying to stay bit, dry. Apparently, it's safer to set off the fireworks uh, when they get wet rather than to let them sit and be wet. So we at least get a nice firework show from inside this building. Yeah, kind of. It's like, feels silly, but it's safer, so it's the way to go. Yeah, don't want to get pouring rain, crying baby. It'd be sad. He'd be too sad. Today we are leaving the balloon, balloon fiesta. Balloon fiesta. The balloon fiesta. And we wanted to give you guys a few tips so if you come to this event, you can have a great time. Tip, Tip number, number one. one. Book your camp spot early. We definitely recommend RV camping because it was amazing over here in the south lot for us. So many days the balloons flew right over us or right into our yes. camp area, but it books up super duper early so make sure you're on top of that kind of going into the same thing i would book the full event i believe it's what uh two weekends and a full week yeah so like like a 10, monday to a monday days, 10 days, days something like that. uh reason being is because of weather we had a lot of bad weather issues we got a couple good days in the beginning a couple random half days in the middle and uh then a lot of rain lots of rain and so segueing into the next tip, if it does rain, be sure that you visit the Albuquerque Balloon Museum, which yes. is right next to the launch field. Great rainy day activity. Yeah, super informative, a lot of interesting stuff in there, a lot of information about weather in particular as well. Obviously balloons are very dependent on the weather, so really interesting. That's right? another segue. Bring your rain gear to the field with you because the weather here with these mountains behind us can change like that we had that experience um, but we were pretty as prepared as could be um, but bring rain gear and as far as other things to bring to the field you may want to bring a chair bring warm clothes some days you may need waterproof boots mm -hmm. like we had rain Sometimes the morning grass is just wet, so that might be a good idea. But then there are other days where we just wore normal shoes. We chose to walk there all the time. Mm -hmm. um, so normal shoes are nice. Bring a hat and sunglasses for the sunny days and sunscreen. If you have little ones, bring them in a wagon or a stroller because it's just There's so much. There's a lot of walking. There's a lot of walking. It's just so much easier to get around. We're typically not stroller people, but we really enjoyed having our stroller for this uh, event. It was super nice. Yeah, we didn't also have the opportunity to crew because we had nobody to watch this little guy But that was another awesome tip that everybody says to really get the most out of the experience here Is to volunteer to crew for a pilot and you may even have a chance to get on a balloon ride if you're crewing Yes, so grab your friends come out here volunteer to crew and Have yourself a good time any other major tips. I think that's that's pretty good. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments. We always do our best to answer those for you. Overall, epic experience. Definitely bucket list. Yeah, that's it. Well, we got travel day today, so. Hope you enjoyed this video.